Canadian FIA. I want to show you a walk up you can do from the four. Uh, I want to turn it to a minor walk up and then use some sus chords to finish it out. Um, kind of walk up I'm talking about. Uh, coming from the four, we in G flat, F sharp here. All right, so our four is B. All right, so we're on a four. You may hear a walk up four, five, six, seven to your one. That walk up. You may use that walk up or you may hear it or you know in certain songs or whatever what we're going to do is we're going to turn it minor make some sus chords out of it and then end it on a 13 chord uh or you know six chord or whatever uh so yeah so what we're doing uh first we're when I say minor, all right, where do these come from? Because I like to give theory as well, not just give you chords. Uh, my channel is really about teaching uh, theory and just making you better all around. All right, so we're going to be using the A major scale to play these chords. All right, all the chords that we're playing are coming from the A major scale. All right, but we're looking at it because we're playing in, of course, we're playing in the chord key of G flat. So when we do our four, normally we do a four, we're doing a four as a major chord, right? But we're playing a four now as a minor chord. And if you look at this B minor chord, what I'm playing, B, F sharp, A is my seventh, D is my minor third, F sharp is my fifth, G flat. This chord here is my two chord in the key of A, ma a major. So if I'm in A major, and I gotta go to my two, chord there and then if I got to go to my three I'm gonna play a D flat minor seven chord all right and that's the same chord we're going to play next all right so we play our B minor seven all right we're gonna go up to this D minor seven D flat minor seven we got D flat a flat right hand we got B E a flat all right this is the three chord if I was in the key of a major However, we're still in the key of G flat. So normally this chord is a seven chord dominant. We play a D flat seven, or you just may play a D flat major of some sort. But now we're playing this D flat minor. All right, so we got B minor seven, D flat minor seven. All right, now we're gonna go to a D seven, I'm sorry. The screen's gonna say D 13 or D six sus. All right, I'm gonna call this chord an E7 sus, and I'm gonna tell you why. All right, you got your, you got your. Anytime you spell out chords, all right, you want to try to find and it, you want to try to put your notes in thirds to tell what kind of chord it is. What I mean is, if I start on D, my bottom note, all right, and if I go in thirds, that means my first note of my chord is going to be some kind of D. My next note of the chord is going to be some, your D, E, F is the third, so it's got to have some kind of F in it. I don't have no kind of F, or I don't have a sharp, you know, F or anything, all right? And then the last note is an A. I do have an A, all right? But also, I don't even have a dominant seven to back up calling this a D chord. I don't even have the C in the chord. So I don't feel comfortable calling this a D six sus two as the screen says. All right, the reason why I call it an e, e seven sus is because if you look at it from the E standpoint and it just being an inverted chord, you have the E, all right, that's your root, that'd be the, one, the root, all right? The next note would be the A and that's your sus. All right, because normally you play an E and a, a, G, a G sharp or an A flat there to be your third. So the A is your sus. That's what the chord is all about. All right, this B here will be your fifth. All right, if I take this E, A, and B, I got a, I got a root. I got a fifth with a sus. All right. And then the D would be the dominant seventh. All right, so that gives me, to me, it looks like an E7 sus. All right, D being my dominant seven, A being my sus, B being my fifth, D, I didn't have D there, E being my, the root, 
and A being my sus. I'm doubling the sus. All right. So this is gonna be a E. We're gonna call this an E7 sus. So I got B, A, my left hand, right hand, B, E, and A. And all I did was to get there. I came from the D flat. Right. I already got the B and the E in the D flat chord. So I just moved my pinky down to the A. You may want to do, want to come off the uh, E flat there to get there. All right, next chord, you're going to play the same type of chord off the off a whole step up. So this is gonna be a G, G flat. We're gonna call it a G flat seven sus by the same theory. Let, let me let you hear the whole progression. where we are all right so we got e and b on my left hand right hand d flat g flat b all right and in my last chord i'm gonna play this g flat they're calling it g flat six six chord with the sus there sus two so we got g flat d flat on my left hand right hand got e flat that's my six a flat that's my sus two d flat that's my fifth So yeah, we just turned that major. So normally you got a major, major, minor. Gonna call that D flat major over F. To the G flat to your one. But now we're playing. And remember, all these chords, this scale that I'm playing is the A major scale. A, B, D flat, D, E, F sharp or G flat there. So I'm just taking those notes to get there. Hence, that's why knowing your theory is important. So yeah, hope that helped. Just wanted to share that with you. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.